Hey guys, Aaron here from Pacific Toyota and Lexus of Cairns taking you through our virtual tour on our 2016 Mazda 3 Max. Now guys, I thought I'd do a little video before our Chrissy break, uh, just so you can uh, have a look through the vehicle um, while we're uh, possibly on a little bit of a holiday. Quick tour here of our yard um, in Cairns. So look, we've got uh, stocking over 200 cars at the moment between our yard here and our other yard, just on the other side of Mulgrave Road. but. Got our new car showroom up the top there, Lexus next door, and then also our parts and services tucked in behind there as well. Alrighty, I'll jump straight into it um, and we'll go throughout the car, showing you little scratch marks, also all little features as well. We like to be as transparent as possible, but really, really nice, this little Mazda, definitely been well looked after. We'll start up down the front here, make our way around the front. Obviously you got your nice wide grill there, um, but very, very minimal. No scratch marks or anything there along the front. Up on the bonnet, really, really nice as well. A couple of really minor, just, just line scratches there. Um, might have just been general general stuff like sticks or something like that, but um, nothing major at all. Up on the windscreen, no chips, cracks or anything like that. Really, really nice. And up on the roof as well. Really nice up there. And down the back. Alrighty. Uh, I'll start up the front, make way around the car as well. So obviously you got your nice big alloy rims there. Plenty of tread on the tires, but as you can see down the side here, little just marking there, but look, that would, I think that'll just come out with a bit of a wash. So um, no need to worry about stuff, little things like that. It will get a full wash and detail upon delivery as well. As you can see down the back here, and then we've got our tires in there, plenty of tread in the back as well. Make our way around the back, got all our parking sensors, as you can see there. Couple of little tiny chip marks here in the back, obviously where someone's pulled some bags or something like that out, but um, nothing a little touch up can't fix. Now around the left hand side, as you can see, the tire and rim there again, really, really nice. Little bit of um, scrape marks on the on the rims here. Um, look, obviously just general kind of wear and tear. Down the side here, as you can see, really, really nice. Both doors there and down the front left as well. Alrighty, we'll jump on in. Um, now this one just does have the one key as well, so um, keep that in mind. But uh, we'll make our way from the back down to the front. Plenty of room in the boot there. Um, obviously your spares underneath there too. You've got your little boot saver here to reflect the sun or anything like that. Keep anything a bit cooler and not in the direct sunlight. Have a look in the rear here, as you can see down the doors. Really, really nice. Little just a scratch mark there. Nothing too major at all. But as you can see, carpet floors and your rear seats have been really, really well looked after. Got your center divider there as well, a couple of cup holders. Really nice there. Now in the driver's side, so power windows, window locks, door locks, that side of things all there. As you can see, you've got genuine floor mats down there as well. But the seats have been really, really well looked after all throughout there as well. I'll jump on in and uh, start him up for you as well. Show you how it runs and everything. So obviously a key in my pockets there and then just uh, fall on the brake. Then you've got the start stop button there. Aircon's really, really nice and cold as well, guys. Um, as you can see down there, 25,000 K. So very, very low Ks. Give it a little rev for you as well. Just so you can see the revs on the left there working there too. Um, but as you can see, got our traction control here and our eye stop so it's the intelligent i guess um mode there for when you stop at traffic light so you can turn that on and off the engine will cut in and out volume controls and answer and hang up phone calls on the left here as well as you skip and re reverse on the channels got our uh cruise control on the right here um got paddle shifts there behind the steering as well for your gears and then also indicators lights on the right and then your um, wipers and everything on the left little uh, heads up screen there as well in the dash 
Um, now that is all controlled by this down here. So um, if you can see that there, you twist the, the big knob there and then you can go through all your features and you just click it and push it down and it takes you into the radio side of things, everything like that. Volume down the left here as well. And then you've got your home navigation side of things on here as well. Obviously your auto sports mode down the front here. Um, it's just a little button you push forward for sports mode. All your aircon controls there as well. So really, really nice in here and um, great little car, but I'll go through the service books there as well and show you that. So, oh, that's not even the right book. So uh, maintenance service booklet. Well, there you go. So all been well looked after and all the services have been done. So your first, second, third, uh, fourth, fifth and sixth service all been done. And that's all it's up to at the moment. So um, obviously it hasn't done the Ks, but the time. So they've got it done anyway, which is always the best way to do. If you don't do the Ks, um, then timing is the best way to, to keep your servicing up to date because eventually the oil does get old. So I'll pop all that stuff back in there. And I'll jump on out. Just quickly show you under the bonnet as well. Alrighty, as you can see there, under the bonnet runs really, really smoothly. No weird noises, ticks or rattles or anything like that. Got our battery up the back there, air filter just up the front. Coolant radiator cap there as well. Washer fluid with the blue one there. Brake fluid up the back and then your engine oil top up and check just in the middle there. So really, really nice. Alrighty guys, um, that's gonna conclude our virtual tour on our 2016 Mazda 3 Max. Thanks for watching.